Hi, my name's Sione Fomuina. I'm a former NRL and Kiwi League international. I grew up in West Auckland, currently residing in Brisbane, Australia, where I work as a youth facilitator. Alcohol was a big part of, um, of our family um, growing up. I guess I witnessed a lot of things um, that happened around me in relation to alcohol. I think it did sort of um, affect me as a kid. I started regularly drinking when I was 16. My uh, behaviour would change. I'd get violent. The first probably hour of drinking, yep, I was the life of the party, but I didn't have an off button. So 99% of the time I'd black out and not remember things. That's the, that's the part that I don't like about me. I was thankful for the opportunity more so not to play rugby league, but the money that it gave me to drink. <laughs> All I was actually more concerned about was what I was gonna do after every game. My mum used to beg me, son, please, please stop drinking. You know, it's, um, but I just couldn't. I just loved the, the way alcohol would make me feel. Uh, yeah, I really found it hard to stop. At the birth of my first daughter, that was a, a massive wake-up call for me. Basically, I just looked back on my life and I just started to make a mental note of every negative thing that happened in my life. And right next to it was alcohol. This happened, alcohol. Everything was all related to alcohol. The penny dropped and I stopped and I've been sober um, for over three years now, and it's been the best decision you know, I've ever made in my life. I told certain friends, um, and they supported me big time. They wouldn't text me or invite me out drinking. Um, I had to end relations, uh, friendships um, with certain people, um, because if they weren't willing to support me, then um, I couldn't have them in my life. And it was funny, because my fiance, um, one day she said, oh, you know what tomorrow is? And I said, what? She goes, six months, you've been sober. And the longest I had gone was, was like six weeks. And that was a ban that the club put on me. So <laughs> as soon as that six week ban stopped, I went out, got arrested, and then I got sacked. It just goes to show that, you know, if you drink alcohol, it doesn't matter how many times. If, you know, you, if you've got a problem, you've got a problem. And um, my cousin, um, he rang me, he said to me, he goes, you know, Sione, it's just in our blood. You know, it's just in our blood. It's in my blood, it's in your dad's blood. Granddad was a drunk, had a problem with alcohol. And I was like, man, you're right, it is. That was just an excuse to justify my actions while being drunk and getting on the piss. I won't go down to my kids, because I've stopped. Wherever that, whether that gene's real, whatever, you know, from my grandfather to my father to me, it ends with me. And it's not gonna get passed down anymore.